Hey guys, what's happening? It's Tommy. So I'm back with yet another lame Jeep trailer maintenance video. You know, if you're one of these guys like myself that tow your Jeep to events or wheeling trips or whatever, um, it's just some good information. Uh, you can find this information in other places, but from a Jeeper standpoint, um, I think it's pretty cool. There's a million different videos out there on how to work on every part component or whatever your Jeep, but there's not a lot of stuff out there about Jeep trailers. So I'm gonna do a little mini series on Jeep trailer maintenance and stuff I do before I get on the road and make a long trip. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the brake system. So this is your drum and hub. That's all one piece. So going back to my video I did about greasing your hubs, if you have you know poor maintenance and you wind up smoking a hub or destroying a brace or a bearing or whatever and have to replace your hub you got to replace the hub and the drum and they're expensive guys compared to just replacing a hub on a non-braked axle so the things to look for on these are this surface area is clean it's not greasy this surface area is clean and it's not greasy um and then you want to look at your shoes make sure your shoes are in good shape these are still in pretty good shape they're in pretty good shape. Your hardware's in good shape. Your springs are in good shape. Your magnet's in good shape. Um, your seal, your grease seal on the inside of your brake drum is in good shape, that it's not leaking grease down into the brake system. Um, that's bad news, because what happens when you do that, um, you slick up your brakes, and your brakes don't work like they should. And that goes, and that's what I was talking about in the other video, greasing is not using a powered um, grease gun because what happens it forces too much grease too fast and it winds up pushing it past the seal and into here and it just makes a mess but um so in theory on how these brakes work if you've got this style electric brakes on your trailer you want to also make sure that spring behind the magnet works so that one works pretty good it's getting a little more a little weak but you want to make sure that it has enough force to push the magnet out <clears throat> so if you've got a brake controller in your truck and you've got it set up and you get your gain and everything all adjusted out. What's happening when you mash the brake pedal is you mash a brake pedal it sends a signal all the way down the wiring harness on the trailer into each one of the brakes and it energizes this magnet. And that magnet, when it energizes, it grabs this uh, front or inside piece of the uh, brake drum. And when it does that, it forces this linkage to move to push forward and when it pushes forward it then spreads the shoes apart and then they put pressure on the inside of your uh, drums that's pretty much how it works it's pretty basic but you know you want to inspect all the stuff you want to make sure your retention stuff is good you know you're not gonna, stuff's not going to come apart you know i probably need to get the um some brake parts cleaner out and clean this up get some of the dust and carbon off i may just grab crank my compressor up and blow some air through it just clean it all up nice and clean make it look pretty but uh just a basic video guys on what to look for so again make sure your springs are in good shape your shoes are in good shape your grease seals in good shape the surface areas of your drums are in good shape your magnet looks good you don't have any frayed wires going into the magnet um and i just make sure all that stuff looks right and it looks clean and pretty um and then that's it 